So, once again, I am here watching Maddie's East Season 3, Episode 8. And what I don't understand is... Roly, why are you... Why haven't you gotten your... Like, who does your hair? Like, I don't understand. This is like... The amount of seasons that you've been through already and none of your laces have been secure at all you are now getting to the bag and i mean the bag before you were getting to a a scandal bag aka a plastic bag now bitch you're almost at a birkin right now you're more on the the louis and, and stuff like that you're not at the, the the you're not at the birkin yet you're not at that type of bag yet you understand but in between time you can get somebody to secure your lace properly sweetheart i i know a bunch of people that can help you out touched by an angel you know i got we got lavish beauty like there's a bunch of hairstylists that can help you boo boo so that when a bitch snatch how about air tay can't help you tay what are you doing i know you be watching these seasons tay why are you not offering your services for a good price you know what i mean to help these girls out and roly why are you beating up the girl saw why did you have to drag the little girl so Miss T like that? Jesus Christ, your body not hurt you. Your body not. Your body's still in under construction, my girl. You're still, you know what I mean? You're still recovering. Easy. And go sit down on your little body pillow and relax yourself. You didn't need to deal with the little pit me like you didn't need to deal with her like that. You already knew what you were gonna do when you so her the first bang bang bang. You knew what what and then she snatched her wig. All she could do was snatch the wig because it was hopeless. She was hopeless at that point. So <laughs> Okay, y'all, let me take that back because Miss T, first and foremost, the first the first no-no that you did, okay, from Hood Chronicles 1 on 1, okay, the diary of a hood princess, okay, page 1, chapter 1, what you do not do is take your bag, your jacket, you remove earrings, anything of that sort to make it seem like you're ready to get active, my girl. Do not do that if you're not ready. Do you understand? When you put down your bag, roly peep that and see that, okay, it was go time. Do you understand? Then when you proceeded to put down your bag, you then turned to her and asked her, what's up? Like, if I'm going to ask a bitch, yo, what up? After I put down everything, it's go time. You were not ready. You did not know right after that you're supposed to be in your stance and ready to go. As you were proceeding to ask to ask Roly, what's up? You should have been getting yourself into your stance. You didn't even do that. She molly whopped your ass. It was... And that wig was actually looking good on Roly. Like, it was looking good. You know what I mean? And you had to pop it off. I see why you had to pop it off. Because you weren't popping off at... You were popping off at the mouth, but you weren't doing anything else. Like, if you have no hands, kibba your fucking mouth and sit your ass down to the left, okay? You got your ass beat by, um, by homegirl, like, by Scarface. You got beat up by her and then it was like, a... it's not looking good for you, my girl. It's not looking good. I would just pack my shit up and go the fuck home. Yeah, so as I'm watching this, hold on a second. All three of you bitches had to fight her? Like... Was it necessary that you guys need to... First off, the girl's not even feeling well. I'm not even trying to pick up for her, but at the same time, she's not feeling well. Whatever. Scarface fought you, fought her for the simple fact that she was looking at her wrong, which I feel like Scarface fought her for the simple fact that she looked at it like, yo, at the end of the day, I'm making my mark in this bitch, and any bitch that looks at me wrong, I'm gonna go. Like, it's go time, because I'm gonna get active. I need to show you guys that my fucking hands work, and whoever gotta get it first for everybody to know, I am not the bitch to mess with. I feel like that's what she did. Now, the fact that you, you fought Sky. I think that that fight was stupid too. It was dumb. It was pointless. All the Sky's fights to me, um, beat me up Scotty. Sorry, beat me up Scotty's fights. All of her fights are are stupid as hell to me. Anyways, and I feel like this this time around she try, she is really trying to make her mark because everybody been calling her pussy for the for the last couple of seasons and she's been tired of it. So I think this mm -hmm. season she's kind of trying to really prove herself to show people that she has hands. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen her fight somebody who can actually fight. I've seen her mm -hmm. fight bitches. Only bitches that I've seen you fight are girls that mm -hmm. they're not ready in the streets. Um, mm -hmm. And then when it comes on to 
Roly, I didn't even know why that fight even happened. Like, Roly, you should have let that slide. Like, bitch, like, she wasn't even trying to come at you like that on some real shit. Like, and Natalie, I blame Puss in our Boots because you should have stepped in and said, yo, 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 it's not even that serious before I even got to that heated moment. Like, oh, you girls are stressing me. And it, it's only like, it's not even like 10 minutes in. Guys, it's gonna be a fucking long night. So let's start off by saying Suki with the good coochie and her bestie are on the show. Um, Miss T went home, thank you, Jesus. Not home, but she went back to wherever the bubble fuck, West Bubble fuck that nobody cares about. Um, but, anyways, so Rogie's outside smoking her blunt or whatever. And then guess who pulls up? Skirts! Mrs. Smiley hops out the thing in her tracksuit or whatever and she's like happy as fuck. Mind you, this is the same girl that just had a miscarriage hours ago. Why are you here? Like, my girl's like, yo, I came to turn up. Turn up for what? Why would you want to turn up after you just had a miscarriage? Make it make sense, sis. That's the reason why everybody's sitting here wondering if you're lying about a miscarriage. And if you are, you're a real bum bitch for that. Like, who does that? For attention? For your 15 minutes of so-called bumba clap fame that nobody's gonna give a fuck about? Like, nobody cares about you, Smiley. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Did you see everybody's reaction when you walked in the bitch? It wasn't the same as when Suki walked in there and her bestie. It wasn't the same type of energy, sis. So whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. So from me to you, I'm letting you know, sit your ass down to the left. Just go over there. Because all this, oh, I had a miscarriage. Who goes out and says they want to go go-karting right after they had a miscarriage? You would be the most emotional female ever. You wouldn't want to talk to nobody. You wouldn't want to be around nobody. Everything like that. Why are we outside? Like I said before, this generation is fucked up. You have your priorities fucked up. Your insides are done out. Like, they're really, like, it's not even put back together in the right place that it needs to be put back in, sis. Like, damn. And your mom doesn't even, well, your body been looking like you had a pad. You've been walking with, a, like, a heavy pad. So, I'm not trying to be mixed up, but I'm going to be mixed up. Why does Camilla's belly, is it just me or does Camilla look like it's, I don't know the the outfit of choice that you chose with the the jeans and the the leather top which is sexy by the way i like i like the ensemble and then you're gonna i'm assuming have the curls nice and flowy and bouncy and love i love that i love that for you but what i don't love is the fact that the belly area it's giving confusion it's giving chloe's sister that's what it is where we don't know if she's pregnant we're trying to figure it out there's rumors whatever the case may be sis i'm letting you know right now that after this episode when people see this episode i guarantee people are gonna say yo is she pregnant is she breeding like what's going on like did you just eat before you walked into the room are we going through was it the time of the month where there's a little bit of bloating sis i need you to to, to let me know please verify certain things for me clarify it come on you understand? I'm trying to look out for you, for the best interest of you, because I know you're about getting to the bag. So at this appointed time, I don't think you would be pregnant. There's no way. There's no fucking way, because you're taking shots upon shots upon shots upon shots on the bus, at home, on the roadside when you guys were stranded. Like, like I said, I'm not trying to be mixed up. I'm just trying to get down to the actual, like the actual facts and receipts. Okay, sis, please, because. You look like y'all breed, aka you look like you're pregnant, sis. Just saying. Suki, I'm gonna stop you right there, sweetheart. I love. Uh, listen, your your song is bumping. The crowd is Philly is is loving y'all. You guys are in a refrigerator fucking box jamming, having a great old time. I get it. I understand it. The bitches love you. The ghetto bitches really love you, like the ratchet bitches. I'm not eating no man's ass. Like eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. No, absolutely not. It's my first time partying with the baddies. I'm already turned up to give them some of that suki flavor. If she get up, you know, two hood bitches, what can you expect? But I eat no ass. <laughs> yeah. Talk about eat ass, it is lit in this motherfucker. I don't even want to leave yet. And these hoes ain't fighting. Bitch, I'm having a good motherfucking time. Eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. 
no shitty tongue. No, 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 no. My, my, my tongue will never go in between a man's body hole. Absolutely not. <laughs> Eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. Are you crazy? Asking a man to do this or this is crazy to me, sis. And doing this and it. People have diarrhea through that. I understand the pom pom. Like when guys, like get it there's blood whatever the case may be to each his own you don't have to i'm not telling you to eat out there if you don't want to eat it but i'm not licking your ass a whole lot <laughs> like i'm so upset that she even has a song about telling y'all to eat man's body and you guys are in the party jamming to it bitch suki i love you but sis eat it mm. Your tongue is close to your mouth and your nose. Like, your whole. Rolly, 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 Rolly. Listen to me. When you're going into these places, Rolly, okay? You are a big, beautiful sister. Do you understand? Your hair was laid, all of that. You get me? You were wearing the appropriate outfit. You shouldn't have been wearing black, but you wore the appropriate outfit that allowed your arms to breathe and all of that type of stuff. But bring a fan or bring, or yeah, get like one of those Chinese fans or one of those big fans that the girls that walk around with because you can't be sweating and looking like that, Roly. You look like a real rotisserie chicken that's glistening. Like a real, like you look like one of those donuts that just came out of the oven after they glistened it, you know? You look like you're already a hot, fresh, off of the, off of, like you're ready, like you're fresh off of the press, like you, like, Roly, like, my girl, it's not a good look for you. You're in a club, first off, you're not really, you're not singing your song, you're not, you're not on the mic so people can hear your voice, like, to make people hear you MC. You're actually lip singing your songs, which I think is stupid, because it's like, this is what I'm talking about when I say bitches don't have stage present. You pay money to go see bitches and this is what they do. Like, people pay their bread not only to see you guys, but to see you guys actually perform. So fucking perform. Don't lip sing shit. Like, don't do that. Like, I paid my, my dollars. I don't care if it was 25 bucks. It could have been my last 25 bucks that I spent on you. So guess what? I'm gonna get my $25 worth. So first off, you guys probably didn't even come on time. So that's another thing. Give me my, give me what I paid for. This is the reason why people act ratchet and, and do what they do and throw shit at you guys and bust you guys' heads with water bottles and throw their panty like do all these type of fuckery because this is what you guys do like not only that but you look like you're really sweating bricks like you're sweating hard my girl your chin around your chin right all right so natalie you really got a bunch of ratchet um, puss in a boots you really got a, a bunch of real ratchet bitches on your show and i and i respect that because obviously that's what baddies is about so you have a bitch talking about a man um having man having girls eat man's ass which is fukiana with the good Gucci. then on the other and you have mariah lynn over here the violin over here telling people that once upon a time not long ago i was a hoe at least you guys are admitting this shit. Like, I get it. Like, this generation, like, you guys are just out just telling the world what you guys fucking do. Like, yes, I suck a lot of cock. And yes, I love to get tea bag. Yes, I got a three. Like, you guys are just out here telling your business. Not, like, I don't need to know how much man you fucked and sucked and you did all these type of things. Why are you telling people that you're a hoe? And then, on top of that, when people are on the show saying, yo, you a hoe ass bitch. Who the fuck you think you talking to? You! Because you clearly told me once upon a time not long ago you were a hoe so when people call you guys these names now and say things to you please do not get offended please at all i don't want to see you going off the rails and talk about oh this bitch is talking crazy about me saying i fuck this nigga and fuck that nigga nigga you said it yourself that you were a hoe so natalie you puss in her boots you just round up a bunch of hoe ass bitches around like you know what i mean and suki said yo i can fuck with her because she lives in her truth 
I love it that she lives in her truth. But at the same time, just know whatever you guys put out there, people like myself are allowed to have their opinions on. So don't get upset when people like myself and others break it down for y'all, for y'all to understand that you can't be putting shit out there and not expect people to say shit. So I'm just saying, like, puss in the boots, you're messy. Like, really messy, but I love it. And it's ratchet. But I'll be back, guys. All right, y'all. So the girls, mm -hmm. after their performance or whatever, Sukiyana with the blue Gucci and her mm -hmm. best friend leave or whatever. And then, you know, they're back in the house or whatever. They're talking about what happened yesterday, whatever. Smiley comes mm -hmm. down. Once again, she's happy as fuck. She didn't take a shot with the rest of the girls. But once again, sis, I don't understand why you're so kiki. He's so fucking happy. You just had a miscarriage. We'll get back to that because we're on your ass. We're on your ass. Okay? Just remember that. Um, then they're sitting there chatting. Um, what's her name again? Miss T. The, the girl that they all beat up or whatever. And they were like, oh, you know, maybe, you know, um, we need to get to sit have a have a sit down with her, blase, blase. Who the fuck walks in the door? Biggie. And her fucking knee knock ass comes walking through the door, drops her bag and proceeds with, okay, come, let's 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 get nuck if you buff. Let's go. Let's get active. She went right at Roly and Roly went right at her. It was they were throwing hands, they were throwing hands. It, it was it, it it was a good squabble. It was a squabble up. Squabble up. It was a good squabble. I'll give you both of y'all that. You understand what I mean? Two knock me bitches going at it. It, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Um, but Biggie, you're talking about you came on this season to show people that you're not the one to fuck with. Who gives a rat's ass, Biggie? You sucker punched what's her name. And nobody, like, you're, at the end of the day, my girl, you have shown to me that you're a pussy. And I don't like that. You have Biggie. Brooklyn. It's not adding up. B. The B's are not adding up and they need to add up and they need to align for me. You understand what I mean? And it's not doing that, sweetheart. So make it make sense. Cause yeah, you're just upsetting me. Your whole look, your persona. Yo, let me tell you something. Okay. If, if you're going to run up on somebody the first time and then the second time you run up on the, 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 the person without them even knowing that, you know what I mean? For them to get on a market Get, get that go type shit and you were on goal time from you went from zero to 100 bitch at the end of the day i'm and now it's time for you to square up fairly and you don't want to do it roly i don't understand why you were still standing there you're like yo run up run up i'm not asking her to run up she ran up on you twice why are we even talking to her and telling her you run up no i'm not doing that I get it that you want her to run up so you can back and, and knock. I get that. But we're not doing that, sis. Get at her. The same way she got at you. Quit the talk, the long blood clot talking. I'm not talking. I'm not blood clot talking. As soon as the security moved out of the way, I would have charged at your ass. Give you one of, one of these and one of, a couple of those. Like, come on, Rosie. Come on, you're an OG in the game. You should know. Natalie, what the fuck are you teaching? Puss in the boots. What are you teaching these girls, man? I don't know talking. TKO, help these girls out, bro. Like, if a girl runs up on you, okay? Listen, ladies, if a girl runs up on you, you understand? Like, sneaks you or whatever the case is, you owe her shit. You don't owe her nothing after that. It's a on site anywhere I fucking see you, especially if you did it on some pussy ass shit. I don't give a fuck. It's on site where I see you. I'm not gonna tell you, yo, let's run up, run up. No, I'm not saying that to you. What is the purpose of that? She didn't give a fuck about you, so you shouldn't give a fuck about her. You two rotisseries chickens need to go back into your little cages and just stay over there. You stay there, Elmer, Fudd, you stay here, and you, um, Barney, you stay over here. One and two. Boom, boom. You know what I mean? Or Baby Bob and, 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 and Barney. Or you guys can call yourselves, um, CJ and Baby Bob. That's what I'm gonna call you guys. CJ and Baby Bob. There we go. Sorry guys, it's almost done, but I can't wait. I can't hold this. I can't hold what I'm about to say in. First and foremost, Roly. Why are you gonna tell the girl that you just had surgery? And secondly, that, okay, so we're gonna call Roly Baby Bob, and then we're gonna call um, Biggie CJ. Since if you wanna have a name like Biggie, that's a nigga to me. So at the end of the day, you're gonna be a nigga. You're gonna be a nigga today. So CJ and Baby Bob. 
baby bob why are you telling her that she just got surgery on your on your body on all these things no one needs to know that you just you just had surgery secondly and secondly cj why are you not taking advantage of the fact that baby bob just told you that she got surgery from she said she has surgery which means i don't give a fuck there shouldn't be you're there talking and, and and talking about oh i don't want i don't want you to say that you know i'm the cause of i don't care clearly you didn't give a fuck about your health sis so i'm not gonna give a fuck about your health either that's what i'm saying a real blood clot white gal is not gonna care it's not gonna care do you understand? You're speaking Spanish to a girl that clearly does not understand Spanish, CJ. So how about we speak some fucking English? Like what Anna told you. Anna's in the back saying, yo, my girl, stop speaking Dominican. Nobody understands the Spanish that's coming out of your fucking mouth. How about you speak some English? Do you understand? Get some real English ass whooping. Baby Bob, get to it. Please. You guys have about five minutes left. I really do hope and pray that you guys get down to the business. Or else, Natalie, mm -hmm. this is going to be a 6.5 or a 7. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this with you. Because at the end of the day, I'm really... Mm -hmm. First off, the body thing just... The body thing right there put you guys straight out of four. You understand? But then, you know, and then Mariah Lynn didn't make it any better. It almost went down to a 3.5. So you're fucking lucky that I'm even giving you guys that, uh, that number right now. So I'll be back, bitches, because this episode is just pissing me off. <sighs> the whole cast of Barney is just pissing me off. Oh, my God. You, listen, there was like two seconds left. And you guys basically, there's two seconds left in the game. And you both fumbled the bag. It's, it's, it's over. Natalie, fuck that. You're at a 5.5. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm really upset about that because you had these two CJ and, and baby Bob standing there for how long going back and forth. Then CJ is going to talk in Spanish and then not knowing that Anna knows Spanish. She's um, Dominican as well. And then she's letting, basically she said something and then she thought she was like, you know, hitting and she turned around. She was like, yeah, Anna was like, yeah, she told you, you know, it's done. She was like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Da, 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 da. Bitch, no. So this whole fucking time last season, you were talking bare falkery and made it seem like, you know, you're getting hostile, you're speaking in your local language. Listen to me now, blood clot girl. Your lucky set, Miss um Miss Baby Bob is not Jamaican because I would have won to underneath you, your mother, and your little grandmother. Yo, dirty girl, you're lucky you are dealing with an American, okay? That will tell you about your, oh yeah, go shave your beard, bitch. No, how about you go shave underneath your mama? How about that? How about you go sleep and park up underneath your mama? How about that? Hmm? How about your mom's breath smells like your baby brother's? Similac, bitch. <sighs> sorry, guys. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me gather back my thoughts. Anyways, Natalie. It was a 5.5. <sighs> I'm, I'm done with this episode. I'll tell you guys what it's about to be. It looks like there's gonna be a fight between Miss T and um, um, Scarface. They look like they're about to really throw hands, like really get busy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Natalie. So, puss in our boots. So apparently, on the next episode, episode nine, it doesn't look like it's gonna be lit either. Besides the little fight that happens at the beginning. Then after that, it shows Natalie going to a different um, puss in our boots and her little entourage going to another house so half of the girls are staying in the regular house and the other half so i seen that she has beam me up scotty herself roly she also made um Mar um mariah lynn come with her and then i also seen scarface with her i know she's afraid of scarface and i know she's seen the way that scarface hands were set up so she was just like yo let me just you understand which i don't understand why she doesn't have tko in that house with her like she needs to understand like but it is what it is natalie pushing our boots it's you're i don't know man i don't i what did i learn in this episode that girls are scary assholes like you guys do a lot of this and not enough of this if you're gonna do this make sure you could do this and if you can't do this then you should sh yeah shut that immediately asap because I don't need to hear you, especially if I want to put my hands on you and you can't fight. Now I'm really going to feel bad. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I wouldn't feel bad because you're the one that ran off your mouth and nobody in the world can tell me I'm a bully because you ran off your mouth and you deserve that super box that you got. 
or that thump that I that I rocked your jaw seriously sometimes a couple of those are necessary on the real necessary you understand what I mean necessary sometimes it just is one of these necessary 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 you get me so guys i will see you guys episode nine i'm about to go eat